it's rewarding to have a piece that has a bit of me in it, some of my artistic signature, and it reflects what the community is. So it becomes this partnership of site, people, and artist. So here we are with a traditional industrial material that is the core of most of the warehouse and industrial buildings that are within the district. For me, it represents some of the history, some of the old, uh, com in combination with some of the new. For me, the, uh, the changing color just represent a dynamic nature of a North Loop. This is a, a model that was made uh, to show one perspective. It does show how the glass will be in the center of the beam and be lit up from behind. So you see these dots of color and that won't be what we see. We'll see more of a general wash of color with some hot, you know, some twinkle spots within it. And uh, of course it's uh, fairly crude, but it, it does kind of give you a little bit of these slivers or the where the white uh, bits are showing. That's where the light will be illuminated. It'll be illuminated in between each one of these beams. And then as you walk by or move, how it slowly disappears and you won't be able to see it from this perspective, which will be pretty neat to me. And then on the bottom side, if you were to be walking around this, it would reveal itself again here. So it's changing from upper to lower, how much you see it, how much you don't. It's being revealed and concealed as you move around it. There's nobody else that I know of that really uh, is crazy enough to take a hammer to glass to shape it and then put it together in larger forms. It's a sculpted glass with light and it moves as you move around it. And then we'll put a skin of steel here that goes around the outside that has a lip that comes up. And on top here, uh, it gets covered with Ipe wood. And Ipe is a Brazilian walnut. Going through the rainbow of colors that are, are available to us uh, represent, uh, to me, uh, diversity within our culture and that we're all together standing as one.